Ohio Bobcats entered Doit Perry Stadium showered in booze. It was the Bowling Green Falcons homecoming, and the Bobcats were looking to crash that party. They rallied and, and got rowdy, but uh, as, 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 the, as the game played on, it got, it got pretty quiet in there. The first play that shocked that crowd came on the opening drive for the Falcons. Quarterback Connor Bazelak loses grip of the football, and Key Thompson is there to unlock the scoring for Ohio with an interception deep in BG territory. A couple plays later, and Curtis Rourke found C.A. Bangura for six, seven nothing Bobcats. After another Rourke touchdown throw, Thompson was once again in the right place at the right time. As Bryce Houston forces the Falcon running back to give a handoff of his own, Thompson takes this one 71 yards to the house. And after he said he was a little winded coming to the sideline after that mad dash. Uh, no, I've never had a return that long off a of fumble recovery, but uh, my legs were my legs were tired as you could probably see. But it, it was a pretty it was a pretty cool experience. Yeah. The Bobcats went up 21 to nothing in the first 10 minutes of the game. Head coach Tim Alvin has seen a lot of OU football in his time, so how does his first half dominance measure up in his time? It, yeah, it's got to be one of the best ones. I mean, it was 28 nothing before you get your popcorn out. But even when BG fans were munching on that popcorn, Ohio was still lighting up the scoreboard. Another scoop and score, this time from Roman Parody, put a bow on a 31 to 0 first half for the Bobcats. So the second was one where you could just kick your feet up and relax as the Bobcats rolled to a 38-7 victory. For maybe the first time all season, it felt like both sides of the ball were clicking together. Wide receiver Miles Cross says the offense has seemed to find its footing. I feel like this game was really starting to hit our stride. I just think we were clicking on uh, just doing everything, just trying to stay balanced as much as possible. We made a couple of big plays down the field, and we got the ball to our playmakers in space and was able to make plays. For Thompson, he says this game serves as a warning for the rest of the map. It should be a wake-up call. Um, we're not the same Ohio Bobcats. Uh, we're coming in here with a goal, a mission um, to win the MAC championship. And the next stop on that goal comes as the calendar turns to October. The Bobcats play host to the Kent State Golden Flashes for their own homecoming game. For Bobcats Showcase, I'm Aiden Crowley in Bowling Green.